So if Zach calls and he wants to return the red swan, just tell him he can as long as Mom's here to receive it. Okay. I'll see you leaving tomorrow morning. Then. First thing. Now, are you going to stop by all the East Coast offices first? I'm going to New York City first. I want to see Matt. Also, the New York offices seem the most nervous about things since Mac has been gone. So I'm going to go and reassure them. And then after that, I'll go to the rest of the East Coast offices. Well, good. So I'll let you get back to work. Mom. Mm. You know, you seem really, uh, I don't know, enthusiastic, I guess. I am. I'm feeling pretty positive about things. I think everything's going to work out. Amanda, why don't we go over the marketing strategy before I get have to go back yeah. to work? Sam! Hey. Hi. Hey. I thought he came here to work. He did? In a bathrobe? Uh, he fell in the pool. What? Where have you been all this time? I've been to Caroline's. Oh? Why? We were talking about my career. <laughs> Matter of fact, I pretty much sold my soul to get her behind me again. Hey, I know she's gonna back you. You're the best. She knows that. Uh, well, I gotta play by her rules. Listen, I'll tell you about at dinner, okay? Okay. Well, let me go see when it's gonna be ready. Okay. Evan, I'll be right back. Well, Evan, I'd like to talk to you. Well, I'm really not in the mood for one of your lectures, Sam. Ooh, little tense, Ev. What do you want? Give it your best shot, huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. You made a play for Amanda, and she said no. Struck out, huh, Evan? It's funny. I would have thought you would have had something of value to talk to me about. No, no need to. Amanda said it all, didn't she? You weren't even here to say goodbye. You've been gone for days, Michael. I half expected that she'd do something like this, Donna. But she said she'd call soon, as soon as she got settled. That's not the point. You weren't here. I know. And I am truly sorry for that. But I will talk to her when she calls. You didn't call me one time. Donna, I was in complex negotiations that had to be carried on secretly. Honey, she'll be OK. Michael, she's gone. My baby is gone. She was hurt. She I know, was but angry. She'll be all right, and she'll come home when she's ready. What about me? Well, you'll be all right. No, won't I won't be all right. I won't be all right if you don't tell me what's going on. I am telling you what's going on. Michael, I just lost one of the most precious people in the anyone. world to me. I'm not going to lose you in the same way. Donna, I just came home. I'm not leaving. Remember? No. My instincts are always right, Michael. I know you too well. I want to know what's going on with you. Uh -huh. Can I have a tequila straight up gold? Now live and breathe. Hello, Vicky. You look terrible. Thanks. I've seen you look better, too. Lousy day. Now, sitting next to you with your wrinkled suit. Macho grin, it's just gonna get worse. Thanks. Vicky, I didn't mm -hmm. come here to be bothered or to listen to some woman whine. So if life doesn't suit you, if this bar doesn't suit you, and if this wrinkled suit doesn't suit you, why don't you just go home, will you? And give that seat up to somebody tall and gorgeous. Am I too late? A stupid question, huh? Not necessarily. You have to listen to me, Mom. No, I don't. I love you. I need you to come back home with me. Jake, you asked me to do something for you that was very difficult for me. You asked me to help you raise my sister's child, and I agreed. But he's not my son, and so now it doesn't matter. I am asking you to do something that's going to be difficult for you. Let me go, Jake. So, uh, why Europe? I mean, you know somebody there? It's 
it's not important. <laughs> I feel like I should, you know, be helping you with your luggage or your ticket or something, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Don't. Sorry. My lawyer said you would be getting the divorce papers in a month, maybe a little longer. He said since it's a no fault, there will be no problem. I wish I could make you understand how sorry I am. This isn't about you, Jake. This is about me, who I am. I am not just the other side of Vicky. I know that. No, I don't think you do. There's too much history between the two of you. She will always come between us. Flight 621 to Paris, now boarding at gate 17. Please have your boarding passes ready. Flight 621 to Paris, now boarding at gate 17. It's better this way, Jake. All right. Love to see you again. If I ever come back to Bay City, I will be a completely different person. You can count on that. to get into my room. Oh. <laughs> oh. I gotta find my keys. Where are they? Safe is open. still mad about No, I'm whatever. not angry about anything. It's just about time I got my life back on track. What are you talking about? Come on, man. It's been... Look, it's been nice hanging around, waiting for you for the last couple of months. I mean, I, I, I know it's been a tough time, and I'm glad I was here for you. I'm glad you were, too. But it's about time I started working again. What are you going to do? Paint. What else? All the time? Yeah, well, you know, talk to my secretary. Maybe I'll be able to squeeze you in here and there. Ah, that sounds great to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I have a great idea. Mm hmm Why don't we get away for just a little while? Go to my brother's cabin. He's still in New York. I know I won't mind. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What's going on? What do you mean? What about the office? What about Evan and the great learning experience? Look, <gasps> anything that is immediate, Evan can take care of. And as for what I have to learn, he can always teach me when I come back. So what do you say? I'm going to my brother's cabin. If you want to be part of my life, you can join me. So what do you say? Well, if you're going to be there, so am I. Mm. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm getting wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you a chance to give me another shot, please? Well, gee, Evan, aren't you taking an awfully big risk speaking to me in public like this? Why, Vicky? Oh, haven't you heard? The Corey's hung a scarlet letter. I think it's a B. <laughs> I really don't care what the Corey's think. Good for you. Well, time to go. <laughs> like it or not. I hate going home to an empty house. No husband, no baby. My sister even left today. Yeah, Vicky, I hear you've been having a rough time of it. You know what kills me? What? The Corys. They think I'm doing this all for myself. But if I lose this battle, Stephen's gonna grow up without a mother. It's not right, Vicky. Tell me about it. 
Listen, I'm in the phone book. If you want to talk or whatever, give me a call. Thanks. How about one more drink? Well, I'd rather have a little more privacy. What about my place? The crime, violent, often senseless. The victims, Americans from all walks of life. The criminals have one thing in common, their sex. A growing number of women are turning to violent crime. I'm Deborah Norville. I'll bring you face to face with some of the most dangerous women in America. Bad Girls, an NBC News summer special, Wednesday.